What's up, SMT Nation? Let me go ahead and close the room room and see if we can get, get rid of this glare. It's good to have you guys for this video. Uh, we're testing the site that was just turned on for Verizon. Uh, it is an ultra wideband site. I've tested this before, if you guys remember the Walmart in North Olmstead. And they just added the C band. It's actually to the left. Uh, I think with the iPhone video, the most I could do is 6X. So I do apologize for that. Uh, but you will see the larger, well, so you got all the sub six, like normal stuff on the right, those right three antennas. And then in the middle, that tiny one, that's millimeter wave. And that is actually, oh, they did it. They converted it. That was Nokia. It's now Samsung. Last time I was here, the C band was up, but it wasn't on. That's on the left. And then the Nokia gear was still there. So they removed that and that it's done. So they did the Nokia to Samsung conversion for the millimeter wave. And that initial installation was like two years ago when they first did that Nokia millimeter wave. So that's gone and now they got the C-band, the 3.7 and 77 there. And let's test them. We got two lines of service. Uh, the Pixel 6 Pro has my new Verizon Unlimited plan 2017 with the ultra wide band add-on. You will see it's picking it up there. The iPhone 13 Pro has the Los Mobile Red version. Uh, that's um, their business get more i don't even whatever let's test them all right let's see what they prefer what they connect to we'll know from the speeds if it's millimeter wave we're getting three four gigs per second if it's c band or whatever we're getting like three four or five hundred megabits per second so we'll see what we get all right we got a ping time of sadness 49 milliseconds and a jitter of three milliseconds but the uplink absolutely tremendous and goat status uh we're over the century mark we're at about 104 105 megabits per second uplink 441 on the downlink uh let's test the pixel let's see how the pixel does uh usually the performance is comparable sometimes better on the iphone it just kind of depends the pixel is a little bit more temperamental with the connection sometimes it picks it up first like for example when i was driving by here i was about a mile and a half from the site the Pixel picked up the signal first. The iPhone picked it up after. But you will see that the speed's better on the speed test here. Uplink is about the same. What do we have? About 104, 105 megabits. Uh, ping time at 25 millisecond and jitter at three. The downlink at 334, so a little bit slower. No millimeter wave here, folks. It's not picking it up. Uh, if we go to Signal Check Pro, uh, you will see that we are indeed connected to, it says 850. It is definitely not 850. 850 cannot do that. Uh, let's exit and come back into the app. Let's see if that changes anything. Uh, yeah, 3700. So there it is. N77, Verizon. Uh, got a 60 megahertz channel there. Okay. Uh, you would think it would default to the millimeter wave. Uh, but it's not. We'll run another test. We'll see. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're sticking to the C-band. It looks like the preference is, is C-band, which is kind of strange, right? Don't you think it would want to be on the millimeter wave first? And I guess everything else second, you know? The ultra-wideband. Uh, two versions of it here in the testing, but we can't connect to it. Uh... I guess if you had Samsung Band Selector, that might work, maybe, if that app allows you to choose the band. 327 down, 109 up. I'm just happy to see that the site was... This, guys, this this is sorely needed. Let me show you guys this area. You, if you've watched my previous videos, you know what this is. All right, so this is an office building. It's Saturday, nobody's here. The Walmart, tons of traffic. There's a huge apartment complex behind there. There's hotels lined up here on the Great Northern Boulevard and like this extension here. Uh, actually, I got to do some testing for you guys back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's that uh, T-Mobile site upgrade. All right, so we got to test that. But there's all these hotels back here. Uh, there's residential down there. Uh, that's all business, Target, Walmart, uh, Plaza, shopping strips. This this site is really important. Um, the millimeter wave makes a lot of sense, actually. I just, I don't know. How do we connect to it, right? Uh, let's go ahead and, and test the iPhone again see if maybe we can test it. do you guys know a trick to connect to ultra widebands in the millimeter waveform when both are present because when before the c-band was here i was always connected to this millimeter wave and it was cool you know like 
that's the ultimate capacity layer. You don't really want to be on C-band if millimeter wave is there. You'll probably get better latency. You'll obviously get a ton more bandwidth, so the downlink speed is going to be way faster. Um, and then the uplink speed potential is greater too. All right, so there's the iPhone 4, 17 down, 102 up. Uh, better than the Pixel in this testing. Sometimes the Pixel's better, uh, but sometimes the iPhone's better too. So uh, we see all types of variation here with the with the Pixels <laughs> and their performance. I should, I wish I brought the 6A. I didn't, I left it at home. Uh, let's see here. Anything else good about this testing? I, I could, I, I guess the it's good. The performance is good. Uh, we're, we are indeed line of sight. All right, it's, we're looking right at the site. It's smack dab right there. I do not like the zoom on the iPhone. The Pixel's got a better zoom, but the stability on the iPhone is better for recording. I will admit that for sure. It's good to have multiple tools. All right, guys, um, what do you think of the testing? You guys seeing the same thing? When Verizon uh, has the millimeter wave in the C-band, are you finding the same thing? I, I don't, tell me what the trend is. What you guys are seeing, I don't know. And and I gotta clean this thing. Look at all this flour from the bakery coming off my shirt. <laughs> I'll get that clean and, and we'll get it better for the next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for all things going on the channel. The Gmail address for business inquiries, my Twitter handle, and then my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.